When we think about strategic thinking in, in terms of uh, leaders, leaders do use both. And they also cause others to utilize both to ensure that there's strategic thinking throughout the organization. And uh, it's not that one is any better than the other. Both are critically important. Strategic thinking is more about the long view. It's really more about the future. It's about, it's closely linked to the vision of the organization and what we see for our future. It's about a desired future. Whereas tactical thinking is more about the day-to-day, -day, the short-term objectives, if you will. And we believe that strategic thinking precedes tactical thinking, that you've got to have that long view, that you've got to have that vision, you've got to have that future focus, and then you turn to tactical thinking and really get serious about how do we go about doing this. And often in schools, we spend a lot more time on tactical, do we not, than we do on strategic. And that sometimes that's a bit out of balance. Strategic thinking is metaphorical thinking. It's about leverage and about linking. Strategic thinkers often are using metaphors and saying like, you know, this is much like, you know, uh, this. And giving comparisons and thinking about metaphors that they can use for others uh, to kind of grasp the concept and think about. And one of the things that we've learned about leaders, good leaders, is that they often use metaphors extensively uh, in their work in terms of how they, how they describe things. When we think about leverage, <clears throat> we're really talking about what is really high leverage here? Um, you know, we, I think last time talked about, you know, so many goals in the school districts and in schools. You know, sometimes we've got 14, 20, 25 goals, and we're working real hard to accomplish all of them. And when you go in, and leverage means is that we're really honed in on those one or two, maybe three things that we work on that drive the rest of the things along. What is really high leverage here? That's where the word leverage comes from. You know, what is it that if we focus on and we work on that it will pull the other things with it? And that's what we mean when we talk about leverage. Linkage means how do you associate what you're trying to accomplish with something that other people care about? Okay? In fact, that's what your critics do very well. In fact, I'm going to argue that the people who are really good at strategic thinking are saboteurs. Because saboteurs are asking a different set of questions than you are. Saboteurs are saying, how can we derail this change? How can we overcome this effort? How can we cause this superintendent or principal to fail? Whereas often what we're asking are tactical questions about when do we, how do we, how do we, you know, what should be in our presentation and, and those kinds of things. Tactical thinking is much more linear. It's much more step by step. And again, it's not that it's not important, it's just that one follows the other. When we think about strategic thinking, it's more about imagination. It's more about innovation. It's more about creativity. And when we think about tactical thinking, it's more about rationality and immediate results. You know, and a lot of the people, I would suspect, that are driving the uh, reform agenda in Texas are much more focused on the right-hand side. You know, immediate results and rationality. And if we can't show me that something works, then we're not going to do it. Okay? Whereas if you're transforming an organization, then often you're looking for some validity in the argument that, you know, this may work and we think it'll work and we need to try it. Remember last time we talked about the importance of creating the conditions so that people can fail and learn from their failures as opposed to simply saying, if you can't prove it, then we can't do it. And so in an organization where strategic thinking dominates, it's much more about imagination, innovation, which we're going to talk about in the next session with you. We're going to talk about innovation at a much deeper level, what it means, and creativity. Strategic thinking is more about the unknown and about creating new possibilities. And if you're transforming an organization, in many regards, you are dealing with the unknown, are you not? You can't say exactly what it's going to be about. That vision it does not have so much specificity that you can be exact about it. That vision has to be a picture of the future and it has to be compelling and so that people want to go there. And the closer they get, the more it expands even so. Okay? Whereas tactical is more about the known and the familiar. And often that's what happens in change in organizations, is that create a little dissonance with the change, and then all of a sudden people get uncomfortable, they put a lot of pressure on the board, perhaps, 
And uh, then there's this demand to go back to the way things used to be because things used to be more comfortable and people knew what they were doing. Any of you ever experienced that sense of dissonance when you try to learn something new that you've not done before and you become more incompetent before you become more competent? Okay. <laughs> And then when that happens, often what happens is it puts a lot of pressure on the organization to go back to the old way of doing things because people had a much greater sense of competence because we don't have the capacity to push through and our work our way to the next level, which requires a focus on strategic thinking. Strategic thinking is more about patterns, about linkages, and about powerful outcomes. You know, powerful outcomes, not just simply a goal, but what is a powerful outcome? Think about your school, your school district, your organization, your service center, and what are some powerful outcomes that you're really focused on, okay? And how do you link that direction to things people care about? And then how do you identify patterns? As you listen to people talk and you get information and data and you, you listen to your staff, you begin to hear, you know, what are, you ask yourself, what are the patterns here? And sometimes a pattern is what people don't say and sometimes we learn more about what people don't say than we learn from what they do say. And people say, wow, I really thought they were going to bring this up, but nobody mentioned it. Well, I wonder why they didn't mention it. So it's very much about those kinds of questions, whereas strategic, tactical thinking is more about precision and scheduling and immediate actions. Strategic thinking, again, is about questions and about uh, asking those questions. Um, we at one of our conferences had uh, Ron Heifetz who wrote Leadership on the Line and another book, Leadership Without Easy Answers. Great books, by the way, if any of you have read them. Uh, Ron is a psychiatrist. Uh, he does a lot of consulting with major corporations and one of the corporations provided the opportunity for him to interact with some of the superintendents that we have worked with. This has been some years ago. Roland, I believe you were, were part of that group. Um, and one of the points that he makes in his book, and one of the points he made to the superintendents, is that the day of the silverback gorilla is over. That organizations were kind of organized around the concept of the silverback and the, tr and the gorilla troop. And the silverback is kind of, you know, is the one who drives out the intruders, who makes sure everybody has food, who kind of takes care of things. If you ever watch a gorilla troop, there's no mistake, the silverback is in charge, okay? And he says organizations are kind of that way, and that you get to be principal because you're silverback. You solve people's problems. Oh, this is terrible, this is terrible, but so-and-so will take care of it. And then you get really good at it, and you move into the central office. And you get really good at it, and you become superintendent. Or same parallel in, 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 in corporations as well. And that the CEO is kind of the silverback, if you will. And he's saying that day is over, that those days are dead that no longer do we need that kind of leadership. We don't need people who solve other people's problems. We need people who create other people's problems for other people to solve. And the problem creators are all about the questions and asking questions, the kinds of questions that creates enough dissonance so that people have to grapple with it and have to, have to wallow in it. Uh, you're not going to transform an organization successfully if you just simply tell people what to do. You have to give them a chance to come to terms with what's going on here and why there's a need for change and how things might be better and how we might, what's, what's high leverage and how do we link this direction with what people care about. And you do that through questions. And so questions are critically important for strategic thinking, whereas facts and instructions are more important for tactical thinking. Leadership and gaining commitment is part of strategic thinking. So often people say, well, we can't go in that direction because, you know, Everybody's not on board. Well, I've never been any place where everybody was on board with any, anything. The question is, are the right people on board? And how do we get the right people on board? How do we get commitment from those people who support that we need? Or something that the way Phil often frames it is whose support must we have and whose resistance can we not stand? And focus on those people and focus on a strategy for dealing with those groups as opposed to simply saying, well, you know, there's too many people that are not committed. And strategic thinking leaders are much more about how do we get ownership and how do we get commitment for this direction? What strategy shall we use to cause that as opposed to simply saying, uh, you know, that we're either not going to do it or if it doesn't fit our management operational plans, then it doesn't fit here. So again, strategic thinking precedes strategic planning. Strategic planning involves tactical thinking. Execution involves tactical thinking. And this is critically important. Strategic thinking is frequently neglected. 
<coughs> whereas tactical thinking almost dominates. Now I've asked this question in a couple of groups uh, because I've never been in a school district that did not have somewhere that it was part of their focus to teach children to think critically. And there are books written on critical thinking, are there not? And some of you even asked me last time I was here, what do y'all think about critical thinking in schools? Well, my question is, what do we mean by critical thinking? Because when I talk to adults, they say about 98% of the time we spend is on tactical thinking in schools. So how is it, which of these are we teaching the kids? Are we teaching them to think critically? Are we think, teaching them to think tactically? Or are we teaching both? Now, you don't have to answer that right now. I just have that as an open question. I'm trying to figure out how we're so good at doing something that we have such a hard time doing ourselves when we think about it in relation to our students. Again, vision indicates direction. And it's a general direction. You know, often we talk about direction, you know, uh, we're going north. You know, when you go out and you interview people in the organization, you get a sense of everybody's going north. Now, they may not get there in the same way. You know, may not get there at the same time, but there's a sense that we're moving in a common direction here. That the vision frames the mission. And that the vision can be realized and cannot be accomplished like a goal. Okay. An example. Strategic thinking, or you tell me. District leaders set out to increase student engagement in schools and across the district. Example two, principals plan to hold an after-school workshop for teachers around understanding engagement. I think it's pretty clear which is strategic and which is operational. And with, without both, you're probably not going to be successful. And so one really very much depends on the other. <clears throat> 